All right, YouTube, what is happening? We got a brand spanking new model from Kaiser, one of their brand new ones for 2019 in here in my hands. And this is an Eliza Ishlem. Ishlem, I think I'm saying that right. I love their packaging, it's so rad. Opens up like that, so cool. Got your little brochure in your pouch in here. But the knife's actually, it's right there. Not in the pouch. So, what is this knife? Well, this is a funny knife in my opinion. Uh, funny because of the reference to the name, and um, it's definitely more of a artistic knife than it is, I would say, a practical knife. But this is the Kaiser Sose. Now, how many of you got that joke right there? I'd be curious if you got the reference to the 1995 movie. Maybe we'll see. We'll see how many people in the in the comments. Leave them down in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Without googling it. Now, funny enough, when you Google Kaiser Sose. As far as the knife is concerned, you will actually get the answer to my trivia question. So it's kind of funny. So um, this is an interesting design. Definitely unique and different. Um, nothing I've ever seen from Kaiser before. Now that kind of explains the Eliza Ishlem design language is very unique and different. Ishim. Sorry, I'm saying it right wrong. Very different. Um, dagger style blade. It is not um, sharp on both sides. This is a false edge. It's only sharp there. You get your S35 VN dagger blade there. This is a nice stone wash finish. Titanium bolster. Really, really nice carbon fiber handle. And on the other side, you've got the pocket clip here, which is uh, looks like it's a titanium pocket clip. So basic length on this is 8.83 ounce, 8 ounces. 8.3 inches. Blade is 3.65. Uh, blade thickness 0.16. Like I said, a dagger blade. Handle length is 4.65 and weighs 3.6 ounces. Pretty lightweight, actually. Uh, the entire blade is completely enclosed in the handle. I always love that. And you got one standoff here, so very, very open. And you're not getting your finger on the blade there. Uh, yeah, I can run my thumbnail all the way along that. And it's not scratching it, so that's good. It's safe as well. And then you got your flipper tab up here. Flips very nicely. It's on um, your typical bearings from Kaiser. I believe they use ceramic in most of their knives. And you have a frame lock slash liner lock. Yeah, it's got more of a liner than a frame. Um, yeah, I'd call it a liner lock. We'll call it a liner lock. How about that? Very unique model. Again, love the name reference. Pretty hilarious when you figure who the name of the company is that makes the knife with the knife, the, the model number. Um, the model number is actually KI451382, but it's called the Soze. So you can get this in carbon fiber and titanium or just titanium. And this is runs about 160, no, excuse me, $189 at uh, Blade HQ and multiple retailers. So a very um, unique design, definitely not something I would typically gravitate to. Kaiser sent this to me for review. And but I I definitely appreciate it. It's very like different, but it's really well done. Like they did such a great job on this knife. Carbon they're starting to get into carbon fiber. They haven't done much with carbon fiber. Um, as of until as of late with a few models and there I noticed a lot of their models for 2019 that shot show were had carbon fiber on them this carbon fiber is very very well done and then and the, the transition to the bolster is very well done um, very nice especially for under 200 bucks uh, you have a nice blue pivot collar here and then your uh, new Kaiser style pivot they have changed their style pivot which is nice a lot of people requested that um, so very interesting um, like I said, that, that's the only thing that comes to mind. It's a dagger blade. It's very cool looking. Uh, like I said, it's more of an artsy piece, piece than necessarily a utilitarian, you know, something you would EDC every day kind of kind of knife, you know. When you compare it to something like the mini griptilian, it's a Ritter grip, but it's, you know, completely just off the wall. This is a, you know, very, very um, common EDC knife, and not this particular one, but... But then you look at a blade shape and a handle shape like this, and you think, man, that's crazy. But, you know, it's definitely, it cuts things. It's a knife. It's sharp, and it's um, a nice flipper. Um, handle is kind of like a teardrop almost, kind of, but it comes down to a pretty good point down here. And it's uh, it feels good in the hand. It's not uncomfortable. There's no, like, hot spots or anything. It's it's unique. It's definitely different than anything I've ever felt before, but it's... Um, it's not bad. And then, you know, because this is not a sharpened edge, you have a little bit of a area here to rest your thumb, which works out well. This would typically be like where your sharpening choil would be, but um, what you have on this side. But it's it's 
it's a good way to good place to hold it. So you can get a pretty comfortable grip. Um, as far as using it as like a dagger, because it's a dagger blade, I, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't get into daggers much. So, but you could definitely reverse grip, and you know that's definitely stabby. It's definitely got a stabby blade, so that's your thing. Um, one thing I will say, I mean, the night the action's nice. The fit and finish is really good on it. Um, it is very difficult to uh, disengage this lock. Uh, there's not any kind of relief, and that would take away from the design aspects of the knife, so I see why they didn't do it. But it, it can be very difficult. So if you try to do it this way, it's kind of hard to get your thumb in there. You can get it, but it's definitely not as easy as, like, let's say, like, this Civivi shard here that has this jimping, and it's got kind of a recess in the G10, and it's just so easy to get to. Get to. It's not like that. It's, it's kind of difficult. Now, if you can kind of come around with your index finger and do it that way and it's a little easier than using your thumb but your thumb is where you're going to want to do so i did notice that out of the box and that it wasn't the easiest to disengage the lock um lock up is solid though you gotta be careful. it's like you don't want to touch this thinking it's a dagger but it's not so you're okay but uh, this edge is obviously sharp but um nice stone washing on the blade that's 35 can't go you know good steel nice carbon fiber fit and finish is really good it's just definitely a unique design. It's uh, it's not going to be for everyone, but that's kind of how a lot of uh, Elijah's designs are. They're definitely different, off-the-wall designs, and they're not anything you're really going to see anywhere else. And that's kind of his unique design language, and that's fine. That's cool. That's his thing. Um, I like a lot of his designs. Uh, this is definitely one of the ones that's a little more out there for me, um, but uh, it's definitely well executed by Kaiser, and it, it's a very interesting-looking um, just the way that the, the design language flows with the handle that comes up and to the dagger. It's almost like a dagger when it's closed. You know what I mean? It, it looks kind of like a dagger this way when the knife's closed and when it's open. So that's part of the... I feel like that's part of the design language. Maybe I'm reading more into that than was meant, but I don't know. <laughs> so de definitely a different knife, guys. It's something new and unique you wouldn't necessarily see on the channel, um, but very cool and well executed by Kaiser. And nice, smooth action. And really well done on the fit and finish. So definitely worth that price tag. So if you like a, a dagger blade, if you like Elijah's work, uh, this is definitely one I would recommend uh, you picking up. Let's do some size comparisons just with a couple knives I have handy. The VZT470, it's a lot bigger than that. And that's the VB Shard I brought out. It's definitely bigger than that. Um, got this automatic here. It's about the same size as that automatic Ganzo, so pretty good size knife, but pretty light. I mean, under four ounces, so that's pretty good. Can't go wrong there, right? Uh, how about this LA Police Gear knife? It's going to be smaller, too, so there you go. There's a few size comparisons for you. Um, like I said, very light. Um, interesting, just different in the hand. It takes a little get used to, um, but well executed, and I love seeing the, to see Kaiser use um, carbon fiber you know starting to use carbon fiber more in their knives and they do a really really good job and these bolsters are like i said seamless very well executed nice stone washing on there so everything about the design was well executed by kaiser um just um you know just a little different off the wall but that's okay sometimes that's fun and nice right all right guys thanks for watching the video see you next time